Demetrius Andrade and Jermel Charlo, again, going back at it. I just dropped a video. This will be the last video I do, at least today, regarding this, even if there's more and they go back and forth because I got other stuff I got to work on. But I just did the other video regarding it. Make sure you guys check that out. I'll try to put a card in this video so you guys can watch it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the page. And I posted, it was just the comment creeping of what they were saying about each other. And Demetrius Andre responded. And guess what he put on the Boxing Ego page on Instagram. It says, Boo Boo Andre commented, Jermel Charlo has Insta fingers. I was in LA, 2017, signed the contract, I'll beat his ass. Then hopefully his big twin sister can get it too. And then he did a fist, 118 year. And my thoughts are simple. I'm not in it, I'm not in the middle. I like both fighters. I want to see it, point blank period. Great for the 154 pound division. I like Demetrius Andrade's enthusiasm for trying to get these bigger fights. I mean, he's been going in on everybody. Lada, Canelo, the Charlo brothers, and he sounds hungry. He sounds like he's back. He got whatever on the back end with his contract and promotional issues he was having. He got that squared away. Now, I believe he's going to fight in March 2017. It's a title fight in Germany. Jack Kukule, or however you pronounce his name. And after that, it could be on and popping. Now, Jamel Charlo, he has a fight in February. Loaded card with Adrian Broner. Ah, oh, man, you know, A.B. Athletic bastard. And Gary Russell Jr. is going to be on that card also. So that's a great Showtime card, PBC card. But after, in the fall, I think this is a big fight. Either Charlo brother and Demetrius Andre doesn't look like Canelo may not stick around in the division. They said he might move up to 160. We don't really know at this point. Nothing definitive has been said. So the remaining beast at, at 154, Lada, Andre, and the Charlo brothers. Julian J. Rock Williams, he got knocked off the ladder, has to climb back up in his uh, stoppage loss. He got knocked down by Jamal Charlo in a dominant, good performance, very good performance against a mandatory. So if Jamel gets past Charles Hatley in February, I would love to see a fight like this. Like I said, I'm not in it. I'm just reporting the facts. Let me know what you guys think. Who's the best at 154? There's a lot of talent. You got to throw Edison Lada in that mix. Now, unfortunately, the Charlo brothers have the trainer the same trainer or had the same trainer and they're friends with Lada so that fight wouldn't happen and Jamal also went on record saying he'll never fight his brother and I mean we can't expect that we didn't expect the Klitschko's to fight each other when they were both fighting and dominant so you know what I mean we can't expect Jamal and Jamal to fight each other that's just stupid like I said if you want to have some double standards then then look at the Klitschko's like I just said Vitaly and Vladimir they never fought each other and it seemed like no one else could beat them so we can't hold the Charlos to a different standard and say, oh, no, but Lions only got to scrap with each other. doesn't work like that. Let me know who's the best at 154. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.